Hey Aries, it's your girl Dominique with Empathic Guidance and I'm back with another video for you guys today. And this is the daily message for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for today's energy, but we all know that time and energy is fluid. So yes, this could have happened a couple of days ago or it could happen for the days to come, but I'm focusing on today's energy, but basically just call this timeless, all right, Aries? So whatever messages come out is meant for whoever was meant to hear it today, all right? Okay, so it could also be the cross watcher's energy, but just switch it if it's really your energy. Um, as I continue to acclimate the cards to the energy of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for today's energy, please go ahead and take this time to subscribe to the tribe. Ring that post notification bell so you can be notified every single time I post another video or go live. Give this video a big fat thumbs up. Leave your comments and opinions down below. And we're going to get straight into your video. Alright, so for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus... As it pertains to today's energy, what is it that Aries needs to hear? Ooh, not for you. Ooh, can y'all see that? Not for you. So it's a big old fortune cookie and the sign says, nope. All right. So you guys could definitely be seeking balance at this time. Maybe you've been receiving blockage after blockage as it pertains to a certain situation. By the book here. I feel as though you guys have been trying and trying over in the situation, possibly because you feel like it's the right thing to do. When I see the buy the book card here, that definitely speaks to, um, as you can see, it's like a little tribe of elephants here. So that could be um, you guys trying to work something out because you're in a situation where you have responsibilities, perhaps children here. Um, but in a sense, it's like, you feel like you're bumping up against a brick wall. You feel blockages when it comes down to the situation because it's not for you, you know? So you're doing what you perceive to be the right thing as it may be a, the traditional thing. However, there's so many signs and synchronicities, oops, coming from the universe that's saying that there's something better for you and that doing something because it's, what people would traditionally do doesn't make it for you doesn't make it for your path here and so i'm definitely seeing that if you guys decide to go the distance if you guys decide to follow your path if you guys decide to listen to the voice that's calling you away from this situation then you will definitely come into abundance here because we have the milk and honey card here for um aries sun moon rising and venus so there is a situation where it's like maybe yeah you guys are going on a voyage you're out of there you know so there's definitely a, a realization here that's been made and because it's been made i feel like you're going you're taking off here there's finally you find you guys are finally having the epiphany that something isn't for you so can I get the not for you card for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus as it pertains to today's energy? And this can be pertaining to a job too. Um, this could be you staying at a job because you have a family or staying at a job because you've been there for a long time and there's people that's depending on you there, but it's not going the distance. Yeah, not for you. Okay, so okay, so I'm definitely getting the Knight of Wands and the Three of Cups here. So there's a sense of something that you find like celebratory. You find a reason to celebrate here. Okay, Aries. Um, maybe you have met a second energy or maybe um a, some type of opportunity has come up. If this is pertaining to love, then this is definitely <coughs> excuse me somebody stepping outside of their marriage or relationship i'm definitely getting a hierophant in reverse so to me for me this is somebody turning their back on a marriage or a very committed situation or a contract or even a job because they are wanting to move forward here um it's a sense of a brighter future in another direction as you can see he's kind of looking off into the horizon and also, I see this as somebody kind of meditating out in nature here. So, 
you literally could have been contemplating thinking about this for the past three months now and i feel as though there's a sense of you know you trying to deny your passion for a certain situation because you could have been trying to tell yourself for a long time that a situation wasn't for you just so that you can you can feel like you're doing the right thing but however even if you haven't been entertaining this person that you have passion for, this person plays a thing that you have passion for, it's been constantly in your energy field. And there's a sense of wanting to build on it. But you have to turn your back to a situation where you and, a, you and someone else doesn't see this, um, see things the same way, have the same beliefs. Maybe there's like, um, you know, a difference in age, a difference in religion and beliefs here. We have the Queen of Swords in reverse. And we have the Nine of Pentacles here. So, um, who it is that you could be looking towards, they definitely could have taken a step back or put their guards up towards you and decided to remain single here or this is a single person that you could be looking at and because it's a third party situation or maybe this is the third party that you actually looking at this person is completely closed off to it so this is just one of them situations where um basically i feel like the person that you're looking at outside of your relationship they are not going to adhere to a third party situation they rather work alone they like you know what i don't need it i don't need you but i want you but i have everything that i need for myself like you know i pick my harvest my harvest is good like my my manifestation is good everything is good i don't need this i don't need the confusion i feel like it's a lot of confusion here um aries because in a sense there's a sense of you trying to hold back from something but at the same time looking forward to the future with it as well so i'm gonna just take the seven of cups out of all of that that fell out because the rest was kind of clumped together and this was separate all right so let me get one more for buy the book Buy the book for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Justice. It's the reverse. So that can definitely be the hesitation or the hold up here because with the Hierophant in reverse and the Justice in reverse, there is definitely a very, very long-term commitment that's being laid to rest or a divorce that's happening here. And somebody can definitely be looking at this as unfair or in, uh, injustice in the situation. Um, you could be in a situation in Aries where there's definitely a lot of harsh talk here. At some point, I see that there was a feeling of loss. Like there was a there was a feeling of being sad that your current situation wasn't quite working out. But I feel like something came into your life to help you get over that situation here. Because you was trapped in your mind with fear about leaving something that you felt like wasn't for you. So I feel like um spirit essentially sent the culprit here into your life. Somebody that renewed your hope and your faith when it comes down to love all right with the star card here so this can, this person can definitely be you know a wish fulfillment for you why is the milk and honey here so i'm definitely seeing both people in your energy here because with the seven of is wheels in this uh deck and that sounds so funny to say but basically with the seven of wheels and reverse there's somebody here that's feeling like they're wasting their time um the two of cups there that's indicating you know a realization that somebody that you actually are currently with isn't your soulmate maybe in the past you felt like this person was your soulmate until the star energy came in and essentially it really showed you what love is and what it's supposed to be about and that's not you know something that makes you feel like you lack in a return on your investment so you go from the knight of wands to being in the knight of pentacles energy so even though um you are passionate and I feel like you want to rush passionately towards something and be really impulsive um, and just 
kind of reckless and go from one thing to the next. I feel there's a sense of you kind of walking slowly towards something, you know, because it is a heaviness about having to give up your past situation or your current situation. And right now, you know, you fear this, but at the same time, with this epiphany that you've reached or this realization that there's a wish fulfillment ahead, I feel like you are ready to cut your losses, even if people do feel like you are disloyal or something like that in some kind of way, you know, because you could have people judging you, especially since it seems as though this is a bit out of character for you since you always go and buy the book. Why is the Knight of Wands here? Yeah, you ready to go the distance. And you feel like it's the right thing to do. <sighs> Even if it is a halt on it. Because I do see that the uh, the distant horizon is in reverse. There's a halt on it. And, and you feel like that halt is the right thing to do. But I feel like eventually moving in this new direction is what you feel like you should be doing. Because there's a lover's card here. So, and that's clarifying the three of cups. So, you definitely do see um, divinity in this third party. You know, you definitely see this person as um, your divine feminine. Or you just see, uh, you feel like a spiritual connection between you two. For some of you, you guys could have met this person at work. If not, you're just ready to put in the work where you wasn't before. Because you see so much growth in the situation. But also, this can be indicative of children here, Aries. So, that could be the number one thing that you've been trying to hold on to your situation for. is for your kids. Maybe you have to have like a sit down, heart to heart with everybody in your household now. Because I always see the family room as like um, a discussion. Needing to be had or being had. Yeah, the Five of Cups... It, in reverse is the key to you know healing in a situation so where there was a situation that just didn't work out and unfortunately you just happen to find love before you left the situation i feel as though um you and a person that things are not working out between there needs to be some type of forgiveness here Somebody here is afraid of judgment, and I also feel like they're afraid of not being forgiven. They are, they're afraid of being forsaken and just seen as overall a negative person. they also afraid that they're moving in the wrong direction here. Fearing that they're putting their, their long-term commitment or marriage um, to rest for no reason or, you know, out of, in vain, like... Okay, there's basically somebody here that is hoping that they're not making the wrong decision. They hope that they're not being too impulsive. Even though in a the moment they may feel as though they're following their heart or they're doing what's right. They're hoping that, that when they finally do take this leap or take this step, that they don't find out that it was the wrong thing to do. That things weren't an illusion, essentially, because the Seven of Cups is definitely here speaking to illusions. Or somebody feeling like, is this an illusion? Dang, <laughs> hey, how you cannot see. Okay, so there's the Seven of Cups and this is the mask in reverse. So there's somebody that's fearing in a situation like, okay, so what if I cut off or I get divorced and I go towards this person and they cut me off and leave me for somebody else. So there's, there's somebody that's afraid of the what goes around, comes around. But I feel like it's because this person, uh, Aries, it could be you, is still trying to grasp the fact that this is actually divinely guided. Why is the Eight of Swords here? The Star card. I, I got the Star card, card twice. The Star card is clarifying the Star card. Alright? So this is like double wish fulfillment. Period. I mean, this is your dream. And not only that, but I feel like this was written in the stars. Why is the Eight of Swords here? And that's what you're worried about. you like, okay... 
this is renewed hope for me, but I really hope that it's not through rose tinted glasses that I'm seeing this situation and that this person actually values me or sees the value in the situation the way that I do. Okay. So yeah, that's the hesitation. So I feel like these moves aren't being made yet, Aries. I feel like it's mostly still in your mind. Like, okay, I know I have to move forward. Okay, this is something that I want to do. This is something that I need to do in order to pursue my happiness. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Yeah. So something has to be communicated here. And I feel like that's the number one thing um, where fear lies is actually not only having to tell somebody else like, okay... You know, I'm moving forward in another situation, so I'm going to separate from you or I want a divorce, but there's plenty of fears here because there's a sense of hoping that something is not too good to be true. There's a sense of not wanting to be judged and persecuted by others on the outside or even perhaps the partner that's being left behind or even the partner that they move in towards because situations like that happen sometimes. Sometimes... Um, in the situation where someone ju jumps ship and moves towards someone else, that newer person can always have in the back of their mind, the way I got them is the way that I can lose them. So how do I know I can trust you? Because essentially you did the same thing to me. So I'm picking up that energy a little bit there, to, uh, Aries, or you're fearing that the person that you're moving towards is going to operate out of that frequency towards you. Like, hmm, how do I know I can trust you? Because you hurt somebody else to get to me. All right, let's get some final advice for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Activation. Man, this person you met, they definitely activated some movement in you or they just kicked up and shook up some stuff with the wind here. It's like, look what the wind blew in. I wasn't expecting you, and I definitely wasn't expecting you to change my life. You know, maybe you just met this person and thought that they were just going to be a friend or a fling or a one-night stand or something to that extent. But they activated something within you to make you want to move. Vulnerability. They got your nose wide open. They definitely helped you get in touch with your vulnerable side because, again, they invoke some type of growth or activation within you here, Aries. You're not the same person with this person. Breach. So there is a sense of you possibly, um, you know, maybe turning this person down and then going back towards them because that realization happened here. But it was after a period of you just kind of sitting in it and letting it marinate like okay i do feel like checking off all the qualities of soulmate twin flame vibes and like okay you know i recognize this in them i recognize that in them who are they to me they have to be something more than just a crush this is something more than just something you know and that's what your instincts is telling you here and i feel like you spent a lot of time thinking about it some of you guys could have the spirit animal of the wolf, a lone wolf. Maybe you spend a lot of time alone. Um, you know, you could be the type that works alone. So, cause I know when I, when I have the type of jobs, volatility and it's in reverse, even though I don't read these in reverse, that's what you're trying to avoid. You know, there could be a sense of a lot of people being angry with you because of this decision here uh, or causing a lot of disappointment. And I feel like that's what you're really trying to avoid is the backlash being judged, any type of karma that you may have to face, or this situation backfiring you, backfiring on you, and feeling like you made the wrong.